they're working very, very long hours in very unsafe working conditions. And so um, their health becomes, so for one thing, it's just a health issue. And then there's just, you know, the weariness of spirit when you have no time to rest. And so you're working 12 and 14 hours a day. It, just, just the weariness of spirit that then comes about. In the Philippines, in this cramped little room, I have seen three-year-old little girls all the way up to 90-year-old women shelling these cashews for pennies. Children, I mean little children, that have these mounds of rocks that they have been crushing. And I thought then there has got to be a better way. You can see some kids walking on the street selling water and, um, and all sorts of things to help their families. And these kids want to go to school, so they have to sell something to help the appearance. I think just about everything in the way the world economy operates is unfair to everybody except the people at the top. The people at the top get the money or the dividends or the high pay or the whatever, and the people who do the work get the least of it, and that can't possibly be the way God intended it. Okay. We're so used to, I think, it, um, getting things for the price we'd like to pay cheap without ever really thinking back to where's it coming from, who's being affected. They can't make a decent wage because they, they do the production themselves. They go to the farm, they do everything, they harvest. There's no way they, store, they can store their product. So what they do is they sell this product at a very cheap price. So when they sell this product at a very cheap price, um, they, they just get little from their labor because they can't keep the product. It will go waste. And when they come to the market, because these people can't do anything with the orange, people from all over buy these oranges at a very cheap price. We have companies all around who buy these uh, oranges, process it, bring it to the US, Europe, to actually sell us at a very high price. This is the problem. You know, I'm not so sure people act intentionally turn a blind eye. I think when they see these things, it, it, it is jolting and it says, oh, I, you know, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. You know, they, they used to be self-sustaining and we have influenced them and polluted their society to where now they need um, the outside help. So it would be nice if we could give it. I think that the public can make a difference uh, in the lives of people by paying attention to what's being sold and ask questions, talk to the, the people who are selling items and you, know, you can get very cheap things uh, mass produced and instead start looking around and see if you can't find something that was produced by an artist that has quality to it and individuality to it and it's going to make a difference in someone's life. First and foremost is that workers and producers are paid a fair wage for their work. Where the person who's producing the goods is receiving a good portion of the profits and not the middleman. Trade which assures that the producers of whatever, food, clothing, jewelry, whatever, are receiving a fair, as in decent, um, amount of money for what it is they are producing instead of being um, 
backed into a corner and forced to um, sell for pennies on the dollar. Yes, people, it's always known that people from the developing world always ask, always beg for money, give me this, give me that. But I think that it's time um, people from the developing world actually are supported to create something for themselves. There's clear evidence that when there's disruption in our world, it comes out of people who feel and are in many ways at the bottom of the barrel. They're not being treated justly, they're not being treated fairly, they don't have an opportunity to have what we take for granted. And so the only way we're going to get to peace and the kind of world God designed is for us to recognize the humanity of other people and treat them that way. We are all one. We are one human family. And when I treat someone with dignity and respect and kindness, it empowers me, it, it lifts me up. Most people are simply not aware. It's all about education, it's all about sensitization, it's all about making them know how um, patronizing fair trade things actually support people in other parts of the world. The issues in the world are so big. The complexity is so often so overwhelming that to find um, something that I can buy that is going to actually do something to help people have a better life, feel more respected, I mean, that it, it's empowering.